Turning now to what the Target 12 investigators are working on. We want to get off the streets and have a safe place to go. Thousands of Rhode Islanders are struggling to find affordable housing, leaving a record high number of people homeless across the state. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli takes a look at an initiative to get people off the streets and into a home. Sarah. Mike Shannon, the program gives landlords thousands of dollars to rent their apartments to someone who is experiencing homelessness. Anthony Lightfoot is like many in Rhode Island. The original landlord sold the house. So now the new landlord, he's evicted everybody. Lightfoot says the new landlord wanted to hike up the rent, so he had to find a new affordable place to live. Right now I'm paying market rate rent for someone on SSGI, you know, which leaves me with very little to deal with. It's a challenge many people in Rhode Island are facing. Eileen Hayes, the president and CEO of Amos House, says landlords raising the price of rent and the lack of housing is the perfect storm. She's seen many in similar situations become hopeless. We have folks that are living in hotels that are, have rapid rehousing, which is rental assistance for up to 24 months, can't find units. To help those in need, there's a landlord incentive program raised by Amos House and Rhode Island Office of Housing and Community Development. We're really looking for landlords that have vacant units. The program will give you $3,000 for the first unit, $1,000 for additional units, and up to $3,000 for any repairs. We all know that we could all be a paycheck away from becoming homeless ourselves. His goal is to help about 95 families who are currently living in hotels. That program ends in mid-August so that those people are not going to the street when they can no longer stay at the hotels. For Lightfoot, he believes if the community comes together, the program will continue to change lives. It can make a difference, and it will if everybody that's involved get together and make it work. So the incentive program also requires a one-year lease. So far, the program has found about 100 units for people to live in. For more information, head to our website, WPRI.com. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.